I'm going to grab this lead vocal and we're going to do what we did earlier on in the course. I'm going to select all and I happen to know that this song is in A minor. So first of all, I'm going to click on the key down here and I'm going to change this to A minor. Just have to find where the A is. And then under the options, I want to make sure on the pitch grid that I am doing a scale snap. I'm going to grab my pitch tool. I've done a command A to select everything and it's a control A on a PC. So I'm just going to click on one note with the pitch modulation and the pitch drift and the pitch tool and it should now snap that onto the pitch grid. Don't look for me I started to find myself Okay, that's starting to sound almost like Daft Punk straight away. Um, but we can do some other uh, things like splicing up notes. Using what we learned about the time grid, we can go up here on the right hand corner and change that to semi quavers. I'm going to grab my note separation tool. And I'm just going to double click on each semi quaver, on, which is on the, each grid line there, to chop this note up. And then I'm going to go back to the pitch tool, snap that back to the middle of the pitch. I'm also going to grab the timing tool and double click to lock them into the time grid. And now because we're snapped onto a scale, I can, it will only let me put the notes on notes of that particular scale. So we can just create something crazy, whatever we want, and then we'll have a listen to what that sounds like, and it should sound kind of okay. Don't look for me Ain't myself If you could just see If you could just see If you could just see so there you go. You can start getting some really uh, fun effects. And with electronically uh, processed voices, it's always good to crank the treble right up, the high frequencies, add a ton of delay and reverb. Don't look for me. There we go. Um, let's increase the volume a bit on that lead one and the compression. Don't look for me. Now I'm going to duplicate that track and in minor songs in minor keys you can really happily make a fifth harmony. I'm going to close that and open it again. Hopefully I've got my rendered waveforms. There they are. A fifth harmony works really well in songs in a minor key. So I'm going to do a, a uh, command A and all I'm going to do because we've already got the same settings that we just set up I'm going to take uh, a note um, that's in the scale of A minor, so a C, and I'm going to drag that up a fifth, so that should be G. Don't look for me. Sounds good. I started to find myself. I'm going to change the formant on that one of, of every note with the formant tool. Click on that. Bring that up higher. Don't look for me. Sounds sounds great. I'm going to now duplicate that and make a third harmony. Now we're entering the realm of kind of T Pain. T Pain uh, has uh, the effect that he gets is one main really tuned vocal, and then he has these layers and layers and layers of. Um, tuned harmonies, artificial harmonies. He's probably doubled his own voice, maybe triple tracked his own voice. And then the producers have just gone crazy with it. So let's start layering this right up. I'm going to create a third harmony by grabbing my pitch tool. And I took it from C up to G. So now I'm going to do Command A. Oops, here we go. Within uh, a, within Melodyne and then 
I'm gonna bring that down to an E and see what that sounds like. Don't look for me. I started to find myself. Maybe you could just see. I'm finally someone now. Sounds quite good. Now, um, usually with one main uh, lead and a couple of harmonies, it's fun to pan one all the way left and all the way right. And uh, let's see what that sounds like. I'll bring the formant down on this one, actually, because we had it up on that one. So we'll bring it down. And one little trick with the formant tool I always used to get confused. Instead of grabbing those formant bars, you actually have to start from the actual note. Stop. There we go. Let's see what this sounds like. Don't look for me. I started to find myself. Maybe you could just see. I'm finally someone else. Let's add some mastering and get this really cranking. So, where's my limiter? This is the most brutal, cheap form of mastering you can get. Throw a limiter on the master bus. Don't look for me. I started to find myself. Maybe you could just see. I'm finally someone else. I've taken the so there you go, that's the Daft Punk and the T-Pain effect.